So I'm here in Vermont at the birthplace of Joseph Smith. And we just got a presentation from one of the people who oversees this facility. And I asked him about what was called United Order. And apparently when the Mormon church began, uh, one of their doctrines was that they would share their wealth in common. And that while people would have certain property that they had stewardship over, they would share it in common. Um, and they would, they would make sure that none in their community were without and that everyone was cared for. And Mormonism is a very, very American religion. Uh, it's very unique to the United States. So don't let anyone tell you that Americans can't be communists, can't be socialists, because the Mormon church, part of its founding doctrine was that no one should be without and that people should care for one another and that while they held all things in common, they should focus on building and constructing and working to have growth, growth. Uh, Mormonism comes out of the second great awakening, a spiritual revival movement in this country that was very much about trying to struggle to abolish slavery. Uh, spiritual awakenings were happening everywhere as the people were mobilizing to oppose slavery and the British Empire and the slave trade. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's really interesting to think about our history and who we are as a people and to not let those who have another agenda tell us who we are as a people because I think there is good within the American people. There is a spiritual goodness within us as a people and that in many odd places where you would never expect it, you can find that good.